So okay guys, so continue tayo sa solve permeability pa rin. So this time is mag-solve tayo ng problem uh, related to constant head test. So for example, meron tayo ditong diameter ng soil specimen natin. That is 150 mm. So yung diameter daw nito is 150 mm. Okay? So, bali ito yun. So, yung diameter nito is we have 150 mm. Yung length niya, given, no? meron tayong length dito na given. So, yung length daw is 300 mm. So, 300 mm daw to. And we have the constant head yung ito. So yung constant head is 500 mm. Yung time of collection kasi uh, dito sa graduated cylinder so yung time of collection niya is also given that is 5 minutes. Okay? Then yung volume collected nitong graduated cylinder meron tayong 0.35 liters. Yung tanong, ano daw yung coefficient of permeability nung soil specimen natin? Okay? So, yun. So, meron tayong formula in solving for the flow rate. Consider yung constant head. Nabalikan lang natin ha. Diba ito yun? Ito, yung formula na ito. So, gamitin lang natin to So, kunin ko lang yan. And, yun na yung gagamitin natin. So, therefore, we will have now yung value ng coefficient of permeability natin. Okay, substitute ko yan. So, yung volume collected that is 0.35 liters. Okay? 0.35 liters. Or this is 350 cubic centimeter. No? Pag i-convert natin yung 0.35 So, we have 350 cubic centimeter. So, we have 350 cubic centimeter. Uh, since yung gusto yung unit nung coefficient of permeability is naka-mm, so, gawin ko na lang mm to. So, this is cubic centimeter. Okay. And then, in 1 centimeter, that is 100, uh, 10 mm. Okay. 1 centimeter equals 10 mm. Then, since naka-cube yan, so cube natin. And then, given yung length na 300 mm. So, this is mm. So, wala akong i-change. So, 300 mm. Okay? All over yeah, 300 mm all over yung uh, constant head niya that is 500 mm pa rin ito. So, wala akong i-convert. So, lagay ko na lang yan. And then, yung cross-sectional area. So, ito yung direction ng flow natin. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung area na i-consider natin. That is pi over 4 150 mm so mm pa rin yan so 150 mm squared so yan na yung air, uh, cross sectional area ng soil specimen natin okay and then times na natin nung time collected okay so 5 minutes or 
is also equivalent to uh, gusto nyo naka seconds eh na? gusto nyo millimeter at saka seconds so change natin yung minutes into seconds so this is 300 seconds okay so times 300 seconds so therefore yung coefficient of permeability natin is just 0.0396 millimeter per second and yan na yung sagot Okay, so ganyan lang yung constant head test. No? So, tandaan nyo lang yung formula o pwede nyo i-derive yan. No? Pinakita ko yan sa previous na video. So, ayan. No? So, paano naman yung falling, uh, falling head test? Okay, so for example, meron tayo dito. A falling head test is performed on a clay soil. Yun, na. So, ibig sabihin, maliit yung voids niya. So, uh, uh, laminar yung flow ng tubig dito. Okay? Kaya, yung gagamitin natin na uh, test is preferably yung falling head test. Okay? Anyway, so for the test dito, summarize below, ano daw yung coefficient of, gyri, uh, coefficient of permeability. So, given yung sample length natin, that is 80 meter na cross-sectional area ng sample natin that is 1,000 square mm yung cross-sectional area ng standpipe natin that is 150 mm and then yung height ng water in the standpipe at the start of the test period and yung height of water in the standpipe at the end of the test period ayan uh, parang may kulang na given yung time na dapat may time to Ulitin ko lang. Nagdungan ko lang, no? Given yung time nito, dapat. So, yung time is 60 minutes. Okay. So, yan. So, we have time here. 60 minutes. Ayan, no? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung soil sample natin. Then, ito, uh, Porous stone to eh. Tsaka ito din. No? So, bahala, uh, parang na-sandwich yung soil sample natin. So, yung area daw nito, yung cross-sectional area niya, na gagamitin natin. Uh, huwag na lang yan. So, kung ano ko yan, balik ganito yan. No? So, meron tayong soil sample. Ayan. So, yung cross-sectional area lang nito, yung ito yan. This is 1,000 square mm. Then, yung sample length natin that is given, we have 80 mm. Okay? So, yung L dito is 80 mm. And then, we have cross-sectional area ng standpipe, yung ito. Na, uh, naka-circular din yan eh yung ito, yung standpipe na to ito yung standpipe natin okay, so yung area daw nito is ito yung standpipe so yung area nya is 150 square mm so yung height ng water at the start so ito yan no? ito yung simula nya so at the start yung height nya is 1000 mm and then uh, at the end of the test period we have 
900 ml so yung time na so yung time nung test is 60 minutes so umabot siya ng 60 minutes yan yung time okay so umabot siya from point 1 to point 2 lang after 60 minutes andito na siya na level okay parang ganun so yun ano so kung babalikan natin yung formula pakita ko na lang din so ito yun sa previous na video kung di nyo pa nakikita yung previous na video pa check na lang ha so copy ko na lang yung formula na to and then yun na yung gagamitin natin sa calculation okay so formula base lang talaga to formula base so lagay natin yun dito and then yun na yung gagamitin natin Okay, so Substitute natin yung mga values We have uh, Length, that is uh, Gusto nyo yung K, wala syang binigay na So, gawin ko na lang na yung K is in millimeter per second Kasi naka mm man din lahat yung unit eh So, ganun na lang na Pero ano yung, kahit anong unit man yan na Importante tama yung sagat So, yung L is 80 mm. So, wala akong problema. Then, yung time is meron siyang 60 minutes. So, alam natin yung 60 minutes is also equivalent to yeah, time 60, 3,600 seconds. Okay? So, yan pa rin yung time. Yeah. So, we have 3,600. Then, yung area ng standpipe, we have 150 Then, yung cross-sectional area ng soil specimen, we have 1,000. And then, the natural logarithm of uh, H1 natin, that is 1,000. All over yung H2 natin na 900. So, laging mas malaki yung H1 kaya H2. Tandaan mo lang yan. No? Kasi initial eh. So, mas malaki yung height nya kaysa sa final height. So, since malaki to, so... Para mas ma hindi ka mawala kung H1 mo yung sa ibabaw kasi sa nasa sa ibabaw so H1 yung nasa ibabaw dito sa natural natural logarithm. Okay? Para di ka lang mawala sa formula. So yung k ngayon is just equal to 0.00035 mm per second. And box na natin yan kasi yan na yung sagot. Okay ba? So, I think klaro na ito, no? yung constant head at falling head test. No? Formula based lang talaga. So, yung formula na to is pinakita ko yan sa previous na video. I-derive natin yan. No? So, pwede mo ding i-derive na lang. If ever makalimutan mo. Sige, uh, continue na lang tayo sa next na video. Thank you.